out here in the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin. We just delivered a load of rolled paper, big, big rolls of paper, uh, to a packaging company out here. Man, we are way out. Stopped at this little truck stop. <clears throat> good price on diesel but and they have a lot of stuff in there there's no showers but place look clean there is a little Chester's in there I have some pizza I'll come back here and show you kind of where we're at we got a big granary over here Over here we got a pond. This is kind of dry. And as you can see, ice on the pond. It's cold out here. There's a nurse. There's big silos over there. But there's a little highway out there. It's a two lane. Procter and Gamble in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And I just got a green light, so I'm getting ready to back back under my trailer and hook it up, pull out of here. Um, typical PNG, you gotta slide your tans to the rear. At this one, instead of parking in a parking lot, you just pull forward, put trailer dollies under the trailer. But, uh, apologize for the cutoff yesterday. I ran out of space on my cards. I'm gonna have to buy another card. I got two cards, but I keep running out of space. But we're gonna get back under this trailer and get on down the road. We're going to Dayton, Ohio. Uh, deliver tomorrow by 2:30. So we're gonna head out. Here's where hooked up. Yeah, we'll be back. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Just sitting here waiting on shotgun. Figured I'd make a video. Um, I probably take these off. I'm in the shade. I'm in the shade now. It's sunny out, but I'm parked in the shade. So I want to make a video. Um, talk a little bit about the end of our last trip and I ran out of space on all of my devices so I have two uh, SD cards and a, a USB thumb drive and I'll transfer some of the files when the SD card gets full to the thumb drive and we were gone so long almost two weeks that uh, I filled them all up so I didn't have any room left and I had some footage on there um, and I didn't want to lose that uh, um, driving down the one lane road which was um, quite quite the experience uh, to say the least uh, I didn't want to lose that footage and have the GoPro override it, so we just stopped filming. But uh, from from that truck stop we were in there in Wisconsin, I found a load in Green Bay. It was from PNG in Green Bay to PNG in Dayton, Ohio, and that load paid. It paid good, um, and I booked that off of Uber Freight and. I got 344 a mile on that load. So it was it was a good load. It's, I know I've talked about uh, booking your loads. And I've talked about Uber Freight and how a lot of times uh, you make more money off the DAT low board booking through those brokers. But once in a while, Uber's got a load on there that uh, they're apparently trying to move. And, 
they'll pay a pretty good rate. And I got lucky, found that one. Uh, picked it up the next morning. And I really wish I had the cameras uh, going when we drove through Milwaukee. We went through Milwaukee. I believe it was on I-39 South and I-94 West, I believe, come together there in Milwaukee. And we drove through Milwaukee. I'd never been. And I was amazed at the uh, beauty of that city. Um, was not what I was expecting. They had a courthouse building there. It was built like the, the Roman style with the giant pillars um, all the way around it. Just beautiful. And churches that were seven, eight stories tall. You could tell they were old. Probably a hundred year old churches. Tall, steep, just beautiful. Not what I expected at all. I expected, uh, I'm going to date myself here a little bit. I expected it to look like uh, the intro on Laverne and Shirley. Kind of gray and smoggy and breweries everywhere and smokestacks. And it was not like that at all. Beautiful city. Hats off to Milwaukee. It, beautiful. But, uh, got that load down to... Dayton, it's a load of diapers, so it wasn't terribly heavy and paid good. Uh, then we went home, uh, set up a service for my truck. I was going to have the oil changed, and I was going to have that pipe replaced on my cooling system where I showed you that leak and uh, couldn't get in until Monday of this week today's Friday couldn't get in until Monday and uh, they just called me yesterday afternoon to come pick it up but uh, had the oil changed and that pipe that I thought was leaking was not where the cooling system was leaking it had a hole in the in the radiator and uh, they pressure tested uh, the radiator because when they started it up and just let it idle, it wasn't getting hot enough that it was leaking at all. And so they uh, put pressure to it. Found that the leak was actually in one of the ribs of the radiator uh, where it joined into the plastic. And they said it looked like maybe a small rock or something that hit it there and it had to. Uh, so somebody's got their stereo up loud enough for the whole town to hear it. It's a small leak. And the guy asked me, you know, do you want to fix it? You could probably go a few thousand more miles. And I'm like, no. I, I got I don't have the kind of luck where you can have a known issue, mechanical issue, with a vehicle and me have any kind of luck continuing to use that equipment. My luck is I'm in the middle of Nebraska or Kansas or Iowa and there's a snowstorm coming and that's when that radiator is going to let go and I'm going to be stuck on the side of the road uh, in the freezing cold. And then I'm going to have to pay a tow bill. And then I'm going to be at the mercy of the nearest repair facility. And whatever they want to charge me. Because i got to get back home. So as it was, $2,500 later. Uh, and my radiator cooling system was repaired. Got a fresh oil change. Uh, we're ready to go and I thought about booking a load today but the Browns play a big game on Sunday and I still had some things to do around the house um, had to file uh, my UCR for 2021 
had to get my IFTA registration for 2021. Still had those things to do. Some other legal matters I'm still trying to tie up. Um, so we thought, okay, we'll wait till Monday. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'll go home here in about an hour. It'll be close to five. I might start calling around trying to book a load and see what we can do. But uh, that's where we're at. Um, I'm glad I found that problem before it did leave me stranded on the road. Uh, it makes me sick that it costs that much to repair it and and I'm not that's a fair price I mean the people that um, do work for me they're fair people that's a fair price uh, parts and labor you know I believe it holds 11 gallons of coolant um, and they use the Rotella you know it's good oil good filters uh, it's a it's a fair price the part that's discouraging for me is that I can do all that on my own. Um, I did replace a transmission in a Dodge Ram 3500, which was diesel. And I had to tear the, the turbo cooler and the radiator <clears throat> and oil cooler out. to disconnect the transmission which you didn't have to but I did anyways because I wanted to flush them and make sure everything was all the connections were good and there's a little cooler on the side of that Cummins um, that had to come out as well so I'm no stranger to working on vehicles now, I've never worked on a semi but I've pulled engines replaced engines uh, I've I've pulled heads off of off of engines and had them machined down, replaced head gaskets. I mean, there's plenty of work that I could can do by myself. An oil change on a semi is to me is uh, that would that would be nothing for me to do. Uh, replacing the radiator is a bigger job and more labor intense. But again, that's nothing, to me that's a minor repair. Uh, you're just swapping out parts. And you're swapping out a bad radiator for a good one. And there's a lot of things you may have to take off uh, to get it out, but that's just time. And I don't have any place where I can work on this truck. And so I'm gonna spend the weekend trying to find a place where I can uh, take my truck and and work on it and really all I need I have tools you know I have the tools and what I don't have I get from my dad or my uncle Milt um, I just need a place uh, that'll support the weight of the truck and get me in out of the elements um, Wednesday here uh, it was like 20 degrees with a 30 mile an hour wind snowing uh, Tuesday it started snowing we got like 4 inches of snow uh, you can't you can work outside in those conditions but I don't want to I'm getting too old for that shit uh, I need a building and of course it's got to be tall enough and doesn't have to be heated just to block the elements to where I can work and uh, in this particular case if I'd have had uh, that type of facility I could have saved myself probably $1,500 uh, I could have gotten a radiator for around 700 uh, to expedite the shipping I probably would have been looking at 900 and then the oil oil filter another 200 250 you know depending on where 
I bought it. Uh, Shotgun's dad, sometimes he can get us that stuff at a discount. Uh, he works at an auto parts store, so... I just gotta find a place. So, that's what I'm, on, I'm gonna be doing between now and Monday when we do get a load. Looking for a place to do that so I can save myself some money. Uh, $1,500, that's a lot of money. Um, that's $1,500 I could have put towards my APU. But uh, I'll probably make a couple more videos before we pull out. Uh, talk some about uh, booking the loads. Uber, Convoy, uh, the DAT load board, some of the brokers. How I book loads, what I look for, uh, to be as cost effective as I can, and because uh, everyone's different, uh, everyone has a different opinion, and that's mine is just an opinion. You can do what you want. Uh, I'll take advice from from there are plenty of other guys on YouTube that you can get advice from. Make yourself a little hodgepodge, put together whatever works for you. You know that's what works. And talk some about factoring, and I'm gonna talk some about the truck stops. I'm gonna make a video on the truck stops. Uh, I know you've all heard me complain a lot about the tr uh, parking and the truck stops, so I'll make a video on that too. And we recently made a, another decision about which truck stops we're going to stay at and I'll explain why um, in that video but till then I hope y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving we did um, just thankful to be able to get with family this year with everything that's going on so just thankful to be able to be home for that see family I hadn't seen for a while and uh, hope you all were able to do the same uh, I'll get back to you sooner rather than later